I chose to attend because there are other talks that I think just being there in person really helps you engage and connect with people who have similar interests and even different perceptions. So it's just nice to be here in person. Thank you very much. Okay, you've seen War Games, yes? All right, so this is gonna be War Games, Improper Request or Game Running Routine, CPP, Con, Def, CPP DEF CON 3. So the movie starts out with this kind of intense thing where we have these guys in a missile silo and having a little experience, this is actually pretty true to character, okay? This is what it looks like. Every now and then they would run test drills. In the test drill, the operators never knew if it was true or not. Okay, and so you had to turn the key, and if one of you didn't, then the other one basically had to pull out their Ferris and make you turn the key. Now, if you couldn't make them turn the key with the Ferris, well, I don't know what you'd have done, because even if you use Ferris to do that, it's not like you can turn around and reach across the room to spin both of them at the same time. However, that being said, this is the operation that we were taught when I was in the military, and so we will call this a game routine running. Okay, next one. Gotta love this image of him sitting at his computer. He's got an IMSA 8080 running at a whole two to three megahertz, 64K of DRAM. I mean, can you imagine what you could do with all of that? The, the, the double, not just a single, he's got a double eight inch floppy drive at one megabyte each and that IMSA acoustic modem. However, that acoustic modem was purely for show because if you actually watch the screens later and do the bit rate count, it's really a 1200 baud modem. So although this is a nice setup, it's actually an improper request and access is denied. Now this is one of my favorites. This was dear to my heart because you know this is, you look at my age, you know this is my kind of a thing. This is a war dialer. Now I'm not saying I have personal experience or that my parents hated getting the phone bill every month until I figured out other ways about things, but you could set up a number and it would keep dialing and dialing and dialing until you found other computers to answer. Or unless you just really wanted to annoy that person at school that teased the crap out of you every day because you were a geek. Both of them were great. And this was a game routine running, that is for sure. Next, we got the Whopper. I mean, would you look at this thing? This is the mainframe of the ages, all those lights and gizmos on there. And this one, this one's kind of a conundrum, right? Because it actually introduced me to artificial intelligence, you know, which is part of the key theme of the movie. It's one of the first things we saw. Little did we know that there's actually a, a human being inside of that with an Apple IIc that's making it all light up like that. But that would still be human intelligence, so I'm calling it a game routine running. So we get a little later in the movie when the Whopper's trying to, you know, decide what it's gonna do to end the world. And their first base that they're gonna hit, or one of the first bases is Grand Forks Air Force Base, 319th Bomb Wing. Another place kind of dear to my heart. That is actually how the airport's laid out. I know, I was stationed there. I got to work on these wonderful things and turn around and have it be refueled. And then you got this nice little, this is actually the bottom missile silo. So we would have got hit first. Game routine running. I'm running out of time. This is them trying to decrypt because it needs to find all the missile launch codes. But the problem is it takes it one letter at a time. Yeah, I don't know if encryption works that way. That's an improper request. But here's the best part. If you go onto Amazon to watch this movie, they've made a beautiful new screen to, to demo the movie to you. And you will notice we have got a C++ book there. But let's back up one second because it says it's an hour and 52 minutes in 1983. So how do we have a C++ book from Bjarne Straussup when it didn't come out till 1985? Improper request, access denied. Thank you very much.